Hi, and welcome to Seldom Tutorials. My name is Ahmed. Um, today, I want to show you how we configure the bulk extension on free PBX server. So this is will be my first video in my uh, YouTube channel. Um, uh, you can reach me uh, over Skype, on Gmail, or you can visit my website seldomthoughts.com. So right now we have a free PBX server. Uh, I have virtualized it on my VMware server right here. And this is the GUI access. And today in this video, I want to show you how we get the benefit of bulk extension feature on FreePBX. So before I get started and start configuring this feature, I would like to mention why, we, why would we, we use it, when we use it. So if I give you this scenario in a nutshell, say that you have a fresh PBX and your goal is uh, that you want to create a huge number of extensions say 100, 200, 1000, etc. So it will be one kind of madness if you go and create each extension manually, right? So if we um, This is before. This is because of my FreeBBX um, uh, fresh one. I'm activating my admin account. All right. Uh, we were talking about if we want to create a huge number of extensions, it will be some kind of madness if you want to create uh, one thousand or two thousand or or even three or even three thousand extension as. Uh, in the manual method. So say that you want to create an extension, you go to application extensions, uh, you put the extension that you want, display name, uh, outbound caller ID, etc. Here if you want to change the secret, right, the NAT, options, uh, recording as well if you want to dis enable, disable, Mm, the voicemail as well. Mm, a lot of options that you have, all of them are getting too much time, right? So I'm gonna go to add extension, repeat the procedure 101. The same thing, etc. Right? It will be a huge time consuming project. But here we are not using this method, we are using the feature that's called bulk extension. Okay? So before you get started and start using this feature, all what you want to have in your mind is you have to create one single extension, right? So, so first of all, I want to delete the old extension that I have just created, right? I want to delete everything, right? So I, I, I need to plan, I need to create a plan, say that I want um, 100 extensions, the, the, the extension will start from the extension 100, the so the first will be 100, the second will be 101, 102, 103, 104, etc. until we reach the extension 200. That's in a nutshell. Uh, we want to uh, give some specific uh, options, like we want to enable the voicemail and force the recording. Right? So I will create my my extension that you can imagine that that extension with those options will be mirrored to the other extensions. 
So here I'm starting with 100, right? And this is the secret, the password. And I, I want to force recording for all of the calls, inbound, the end, the outbound calls. Right? I will just be considering those options, right? So now, what I'm going to do, I will go to my bulk extension and I will do export, right? So this is the file I'm gonna open, copy, cut. Alright, so this is the file that I just exported from the free PBX. Uh, it is CSV file. You can open up with any editor. We can use Excel or you can use the default um, macro or any software that can edit the CSV files. Right, so this is our file that we just um, exported so as we see this is the options the first row is holding the options we have the extension 100 the name the caller ID call waiting enabled pin list disabled etc this is the secret that I left it uh, to the default right and this is the context which is from internal to the all of the extension that you create from the GUI, right? Um, if you come more, you will check that always, always, always for the recording options, right? So as we mentioned, there will be a lot of options, but we will be focusing on specific options, like what? Like the extension. The extension number is so important for me. The name is important as well. The secret will be important as well, right? I will highlight it. Right? Uh, what options? Also, I wanna make sure that the recording is enabled for all of my calls, right? You can change anything else, but I wanna keep all the other options the same because I'm not interested in that. All what I want is just create a huge number of extension as one shot and save my time. That's in a nutshell. Uh, as we uh, planned, we will do something like repeating my extension. So this is the extension column. It will handle my extensions. We insisted to have 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, etc. Right? So I have to scroll down. Let's say that we will create 50, right? And I will fill the series so that so that you have the extension the extension as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. Right? The same thing I want to do in the name. I'm gonna copy the color ID as well. It should be the same as the extension. It should be fill series, right? Uh, save name, outcome, all of those options will, will be as default, right? Default, as default, as default. As you see, I will just copy paste, you know? I will not be using the fill series option. I will just using copy cells, right? That's it. In the secret option, we will, you know, it's optional for you. You can use even uh, the same password for all for all of your extension. I can say 
field of dots password right I will be using the same password for all of my extensions and again I'm scrolling down yes those options will be copied the same the same the same um, just copy paste make sure that is copy sales options and now let's continue let's be continuing uh, this will be an important thing because it's depending on the extension number right so you will have to copy series in this column you know we we, we have to fill all uh, the brackets in the Excel sheet or in the CSV sheet you know we cannot you we, we cannot modify something here and keep that section blank you know we have to fill uh, all of the brackets in this sheet so we just reached here right all of that has been filled and computed uh, the same thing we can just copy copy that copy series copy and this will be fill series options uh, this should be uh, on the default as you see okay we have reached the end I'm scrolling down and I want to make sure that it's copy sales only so as you see that Excel file that I have just exported from here has been modified with the extension from 100 to 150 right so in the sum we will have 50 extensions created by default also it will be better if you remove any um, any colors or anything or any things that may uh, ruin this file right so I'm getting back to the default style now it is ready but there is an important thing which is the action column the action column will tell you what you want to do in those information we want to add this information to the free pbx so i type add in that column then i will right then i will um, save that file say yes then I will go back to free pbx and now I will load that file I'm gonna choose I go to my desktop seldom tutorials this this I'm gonna say upload as you see it says that 100 already exists no problem row 3, 4, 5, 6 it says added added 101, added 102, added 103, added 104, added 105, etc. And now I'm gonna apply. So I go to make sure that those exchange, extensions have been added. As you see, all of the extension has been added as one shot. We can verify all of that from the uh, from a command line. If I log in right here. and say save show users mm -hmm. as you see this is the extension on the left and this is the password 
as you see we use the same password for all for all of those extensions we can say sexual users right now we have verified from the GUI this is the option the name here, here is the extension right here is the password uh, here is the option of the calls that we were interested all the other options were left on the default right so if you want to save your time if you have a fresh server that you want to deploy on it uh, a lot of extension at the same time uh, and in an, in, a, in an affordable time as well you have to use the free pbx bulk extension um, feature right here so that's it uh, in the end i hope that this video has been informative for you and i would like to thank you for uh, viewing and watching my video if you like my video you can go to my youtube channel and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time in, an, in another video.